So here's a video to show you the progress on the uh, Desert Canyon habitat. It's actually getting uh, fairly complete at this point. We need to, need to add some signage and then uh, let the plants grow. So this is the entrance off of the parking lot. So we come on in through here. Got a couple of bigger rocks there to kind of define the boundary. And as you enter, you're kind of invited to make a choice. You can either go left uh, and take the walkway all the way around, or head towards uh, Jean's sculpture, or take a right. Let's start by checking out the sculpture here. So this is just turning out to be amazing and beautiful. Uh, we have plants all the way around it that will be growing. Currently they're, you know, a little small. But like, uh, there's a, a really nice desert marigold, and there's some jojoba over there. And there's about a half a dozen around here. If we go take a right at the entrance instead, we come down this walkway, and we're kind of invited to stroll slowly. Uh, again, we have small plantings that'll grow. Desert agave, more desert marigold, more... Uh, Hoba. And here's uh, an ironwood tree. So we have put in uh, five desert ironwoods so that we can get uh, some shade in here over time. And overall, just the look and feel of the garden is really quite beautiful. You can see it connects to the uh, picnic area over there and the peace pole and the labyrinth. And again, uh, Jean's really nice art. If we look to the right here, you can see there's kind of a flat area next to the walkway. That's for a future bench. We just need a volunteer who's, uh, who can pick a, a nice style and get the board approval for the aesthetics. And we'll be putting a bench in the garden there. As we continue along, you can see Quite a few of the shrubberies that existed before uh, survived, which is fantastic. Uh, we ran bulldozers through here and dropped 25 tons of rock in here, and the brittle bush are looking happy, and uh, likewise some of the indigo bush, etc. As we continue this direction, we come across a uh, a part that was not in the original design, but Hurricane Hillary uh, informed us that we need to have a spot for the water to drain off of the parking lot. And so this area dug out a little bit of a channel uh, during the hurricane, and we decided just to use it. It's going to become part of the pathways, and then that takes the water all the way down, ultimately, to the retention pond. <clears throat> So this is the other entrance to the garden. Um, we could exit here. I'm going to go around the loop instead. But this uh, entrance comes off of the picnic area uh, and uh, parking on this side. So instead, we'll continue and actually walk down Hillary's path. And then we'll head back into the garden proper. Again, you can just see it's really turning out gorgeous. Uh, we have about a dozen different species uh, in here, and with that, we're going to create beautiful habitat for pollinators, uh, for lizards, for birds, for small mammals, you know, all kinds of good critters are going to move in and enjoy us. Uh, here's an example of the plants that are really thriving. This is a, a plant that we just planted a month ago. And it's responding to the care uh, by being into, into bloom. So that's a really good sign. As we continue on around, you can see that the garden itself on the left is gorgeous. And on the right is, are areas that are available for the next habitat gardens. So for example, we... That was interesting. Uh, so for example, this uh, swale that was required as a retention pond, uh, next year we hope to turn into a desert dry wash with desert uh, willows and other beautiful plants. 
and this area over here will become our creosote scrub with creosote and brittle bush and uh, lots of desert iguanas and all those kind of things. This uh, little creek here is a, a fun example of listening to the desert. Uh, we had runoff problems before. We threw in rock and it all filled with sand. And then we finally decided maybe we should mimic nature. So now the rock just lines the sides and the bottom is sand. So with mild rains, it piles up the sand and then a big rain comes and it washes the sand on down but the rocks uh, protect it from further erosion. So that's uh, another example of learning. If, if we can pay attention to Mother Nature, she'll tell us what to do. And then we are about to finish the circle here and come on back out the uh, entrance to the garden. So this garden will be dedicated in a public ceremony on January 7. We invite everybody. We have a number of conservation groups that we're inviting uh, to come. We'll start the ceremony uh, indoors, but we'll finish it out there on the labyrinth. We'll have a small little vendor fair with some tables set up on the labyrinth, uh, and we'll be giving uh, uh, tours of the garden and talk in more detail about what we have here. So keep your calendars uh, open for January 7. And again, that's a public event, so that'd be a great opportunity for you to invite friends or neighbors who might be curious about uh, what we really do here. Enjoy.